want to share with y'all how I made this carbon fiber Wahoo bike computer now. I've been dabbling with making carbon fiber parts from 3D printed molds for a while now. The mount is by no means perfect, but I still think it's really cool. I'll go through the whole build process and highlight any tips I've learned along the way. Maybe some of y'all might find this interesting or helpful. So the computer mount I made is very similar to the popular K-Edge computer mount. For those who don't know, this mount holds your bike computer so you can see it while you bike. Unlike the K-Edge mount, I'm using a hinge mechanism with one screw for simplicity. It saves a little weight as well. The hinge hook was actually not as hard to make as it seems. The mounting plate is held in by two screws. The screws just tap into the carbon fiber, which works, but I'll be changing to embedded nuts in the next version for more secure mounting. The surface finish is not great, but it's functional. The only post-processing I did was some sanding. I used two 3D printed molds, one for the upper half and the other for the lower half. The first thing I did was to apply some mold release. Here I'm brushing on some PVA mold release. I also used some wax mold release off camera as the first layer. I used the molds to template out each of the carbon fiber pieces I'll need. I tried to pack the pieces to have as little waste as possible, but it does make cutting them out a little harder. I'll transfer that onto some wax paper, which will help me cut the fabric later. The direction of the carbon fiber strands actually matters. We get higher strength in the direction of the strand, so to get better torsional strength, I angled some pieces 45 degrees so that we have a combination of 90 and 45 degree running fibers. In this specific build, I used 6 full pieces and 2 half pieces on the lower part, which gives around 4mm of material where the mounting plate attaches to. For the upper, I used 6 pieces, which gives around 3mm of thickness around the band. So I sandwiched the carbon fiber fabric between wax paper so I can easily wet out the fabric with epoxy. It also makes handling the cut pieces a lot easier later as well. I generally apply two coats of PVA, so here's the second coat. I'm using generic 2 to 1 epoxy here, nothing really special.
I'm going to let the epoxy cure a little bit to become more tacky. While that happens, I'll prepare the release film, breather, and bag. The pink material is perforated release film, which will be in contact with the part when curing and is easy to remove after the fact. The breather helps absorb excess epoxy that comes from the part through the perforated release film. I'm just using paper towels here for the breather. Finally, the green material is Stretchalon 200, which is the main material I use to make the bag. Here, I'm inserting the vacuum port so that we can pull all the air out of the bag to form the part. The black tape seals the side of the bag to make it airtight. This stuff is incredibly sticky, so my advice is to measure twice and go slow. Following the template I drew on the wax paper, I cut out all the pieces for the part. Sharp scissors here definitely help. I think letting the epoxy cure a little longer will help with the shifting in the fabric while cutting as well. Something to test out later. Now let's go to the layout part. It's pretty important to get the fabric to conform to the mold as well as possible. Even though I vacuum bag later, 
the vacuum can't fix all the bridging in the fabric. The screw placeholder were a little annoying and made setting the fabric in the correct position a little difficult. In the future builds, I think smoothing out the screws will help. One thing I learned is that it is better to have a little less fabric than too much fabric. The fabric here is sitting alright, but I do have some extra material which affects how the different layers sit and causes additional material buildup in the wrong areas. Of course having the exact material is ideal, but I can only be so accurate with hand tracing and hand cutting the fabric. Another thing I learned here is to cut the release film and breather larger than the size of the part. During the vacuum process, things shift around, and in this case, some of the breather made direct contact with the part, and now I have some paper towel permanently stuck to the part, so I'm definitely making the release film larger than the part next time. Laying up the upper part is very similar to the lower part. For the hinge mechanism, I used individual strands of carbon fiber and wrapped it around the mold to achieve the hole. I actually forgot to wet these out earlier, so I'm doing it now. Whoops. After all the layup is done, it is time to bag the part. Vacuum bagging is not hard, but it does take some practice to get it perfectly airtight. I found that smoothly applying the tape is key. Avoid stretching the tape or the bag too much.
Stretching and massaging the tape areas afterwards help eliminate any possible leaks. I actually didn't get a good vacuum on this part, nor did I pull as strongly as a vacuum as I should have. More things to work on for next time. I generally let my parts cure for a day before demolding. Unlike the other parts I make, which are two part molds, I didn't design the mold here for part release. The upper part came out relatively easy because there was a flat area where I could pry with a screwdriver. The lower part took a lot more effort. like a lot more effort.
Well, I couldn't really think of another way, so I decided to destroy the mold. This was unfortunate, because it's nice to reuse the mold to make multiple parts. Yay, the part finally came out. Really glad that the fitment was also spot on. Both fit the Wahoo mounting plate and the bike fairly well. I also did a good amount of sanding on the part. I was able to get rid of a lot of the layer lines and flatten the backside a bit. I think a better layout with a more accurate fabric cutout and a better vacuum will give a nicer part too. Here's a shot of it on my bike. Well, thanks for watching the whole video. I hope you found this interesting. I made this channel so I could start documenting and sharing my experience working with carbon fiber, specifically with wet layup and 3D printed molds. I'll probably be making a V2 of this mount sometime later. I also have a larger project coming up that's driving a lot of this work, so stay tuned for more. Have a good one, and see you all next time.